G'day everybody, it's Matt here, and today I've got one of the Ubiquiti Unify Pro 24 PoE switches, uh, which is 24 port power of Ethernet, and we're going to go ahead and install the rack mounting brackets on this one today. Uh, so they don't come fitted as standard, but there are a pair of brackets that come with it, along with all of these screws, so it's those eight smaller ones there that we want to use. And uh, as, as you saw just before, the holes on those rack mounting brackets line up nicely with the screw holes that are on the side at the front of the switch here. So what we want to do is just put that mounting bracket in place. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're reversible, uh, and then grab our screws. Go ahead, screw them all in. We're going to screw them in quite tight, but not so tight that you're starting to thread the screw, just that it's nice and firm. And so go ahead and do that for all of them on this side. And then we'll head around to the other side. All right, so now we're going to spin that around and do the same thing over here on this side. What about installing it in an actual rack? Well, that screw packet comes with four rack mount screws and also the um, bolts that they screw into. Uh, so those bolts will nicely latch into the rack mounting systems. So let's go ahead and actually put some of those in place to give you an idea of what that looks like. So basically they just clip in. They do need a bit of pressure sometimes uh, to get them all the way in. They won't sit super tight they should have a little bit of movement so you can get them out again if need be uh, but they shouldn't fall out so this switch requires them to be spaced one in between it's a uh, it's a one u rack mount unit so that's one unit uh, and once we've got all four of those in with one gap between them we want to go ahead and slide in that switch into place now you do need to be able to hold it there while you attach the screws. So for me, the placement that I need to insert this is somewhat awkward. And what I've done is I've just gone ahead and uh, put in those screws enough to hold it in place. So you can see what that looks like. Uh, I've done that off camera because I just can balance it all together. And now we're just gonna go through and tighten it up. So we can see it's sitting at an angle at the moment, and that's because the screws are loose, but as we get those tightened, uh, the um, unit will start to sit flush in the rack. And then we're good to go. Connect up the power, connect up our ethernet cables, or SFP cables, and you're all good. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.